Okay, so I uh, built another antenna tuner today. You might remember this one, the T-Network antenna tuner that I uh, built a few months ago, maybe a year ago, now I can't remember. Uh, basically, how this one's, it, this is just for receive, that's all this one's for. You got a switch for antenna one, antenna two, and you supply 12 volts to the back of this thing. And you select this switch here, which combine both antenna one, antenna, and antenna two together. Um, so you got tune, load, and inductance uh, with this T network antenna tuner. Um, the the two tuning capacitors are insulated from uh, from the main chassis, while the inductor is grounded. Um, so. That's the T, uh, the T network antenna tuner. This one actually works quite well. I gotta say, I'm actually works very, very well. I'm impressed with the, with how well this one works. So today I decided to build another antenna tuner, and the new one that I got built is a Pi network. So <laughs> let's have a look at the Pi network antenna tuner. Here is the Pi Network Antenna Tuner. Unlike the T Network Antenna Tuner, where the two tuning capacitors are isolated from the chassis and the coil is grounded, well, the Pi Network, which this one is, the coil is insulated or isolated from the chassis and the two tuning capacitors are grounded to the chassis. So we got the antenna in, out, or in, out, doesn't really matter, either or. The coil, as you can see, is quite isolated. It's standing on its own legs. I got enough turns taken off of the coil on the bottom that you just you can't touch. So we got two tuning capacitors, one here. I got one there, and of course, multi-position switch so we got capacitance capacitance and inductance so when you flip the switch it's selecting different positions on the on the coil right here with these wires so this one is uh, the in to the switch and the out is right on the bottom so when it comes off the an the antenna one end goes right to the one end, one side of the coil and the antenna out or radio out whatever goes to your other side of the coil and uh, then they get switched here so yeah that is what i was at today i built this thing now uh, i built this thing inside of an old power supply that uh, blew up and um power supply cameras are actually decent cases to uh to build other projects into uh the purpose of why i wanted to build the antenna tuner because uh, you know the summer i'm planning on going island uh island hopping in Placentia bay one of which is going to be Mirachine island and if you remember a video i done a while ago on two uh brass morse code keys and uh, they were found metal detecting by a friend of mine that was over Mirachine island uh, last summer, uh, Clyde Emberley, and he asked me, he showed them to me, and I said, well, I'd love to rebuild these things, and uh, so we got the, I put, upload the video, and there was another chap in the United States that sent parts to rebuild the uh, Morse code key, so, <laughs> and he said, when I sent, and he sends the parts to me, uh, he wants to be able to make contact with me from the United States to Mirachine Island, so I'm hoping this summer we can make that happen. Now, the only thing was, the antenna tuners I had, or got, are these ones here. One, two, three, and you know, these guys are bulky as all hell. You're going, I'm going in a boat, so you know, you don't want nothing too, too big. So, I decided to build an antenna tuner in this one, in this case. It's small, it's slim, everything goes in it, works fine. And uh, it's rugged enough that I can throw it in there and, as you know, it, you know, so 
not gonna not gonna break apart <laughs> and that, that's the whole purpose why I built this antenna tuner this one is going to this one's going to be going to Maraschine Island it's going oil and hopping with me the, uh, this summer as well as um, doing a lot of um, I'll be using the Tintec Argosy a lot this summer too as well spring and summer and fall uh, I'm gonna be using a little vertical antenna that I made last year a ground plane sort of thing and uh, we're going to be using the Argosy a lot this year, which I can't wait. And I'll be using this tuner for that. So, um, I got a couple little ideas what I also like to do with this thing. Um, as a sits right now, I have no idea how to build a antenna, or I should say an SWR bridge, uh, to build a, you know, tune for SWR, basically, to check my SWR. So, over next to the wall, I'm going to try to learn how to build an SWR bridge. And, uh, hopefully when I look, put a meter in this thing, with a control, and build a set. Build a chip in SWR, with this, in this box as well. That's the idea. Anyways, just thought I'd uh, show you a little video here. This little project I was working on today. I think it came out pretty good. This uh, single core wire. Put heat shrink on it, on that one and that one, just because. And the antenna connector, when you take, the thing with this power supply is, you know, this heat sink is usually there. So I gotta drill out the uh, rivets that's in it. And fill it with a piece of metal. I got a piece of aluminum here is what I use, got it bolted on. I'm gonna put another bolt back here just to do a little more ground on it. And we might even actually run another ground connection from here to here, just make sure that it is fully grounded. But other than that, that is a Pi Network antenna tuner in all glory. Anyway, hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video. But I know you want me to show you, so I'll show you. On paper. Okay. I don't usually do this, but we're going to do this. So we got, this is the, the T network. Let's see if I can get this right. So basically we got our antenna coming in. That's our connector. This is our radio. Right. So I go to there, to there. And of course, that's the chassis. So that's ground. Chassis, that's ground. Right? So... What we've got going on here with the T network, we have a tune capacitor there, and tuning capacitor there, right, right, and then we got our inductor, which is grounded to the chassis, and of course. We tap or put a roller inductor to follow the coil back and forth for main tuning. That is your T network. Now, the next one I want to show you is the Pi network. That's your T. So, what this one is, is a Pi network. So, again, we got our antenna, our connector. I got our radio over here again, like so. That's our connector, that's our center. Center, ground. So, what we got going on here is we have an inductor that's moved to the top. So it's isolated. And we got a tuning capacitor here. To ground and from here to ground, and then of course, our inductor is tapped like so. Pi network, so there we go. The difference between the pi network. That I built today and the T network 
that I built last time. So there's your two uh, two antenna tuners right there. And as you can see, the inductor is grounded. The two capacitors are isolated. Pi network. The two capacitors are grounded while the inductor is isolated. So there you go. Easy enough, eh? Doing a, lot of, doing a bit of listening today, actually. Listening to a bit of... I can't say I'm listening, but the computer's listening, or monitoring FT8. It's been on, I'd say, I don't know, six hours straight. And uh, she's on listening to the R5000. She was sitting there looking at that all day. FT8. The mode, you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> but anyway. There we have it. Anyway, guys. All the best. Chat later.